Hey everybody, Hawk here with h and Vaping. What's going on guys, Tori, we're back again. Uh, it is Sunday, which makes it vlog day. Vlog day, Sunday, always good day. It's a beautiful afternoon. We have the um, uh, Anubis? Yes. Anubis, we have the Anubis review today. Yeah. So we were looking forward to doing it's that. It's a good piece of equipment, I think you guys are going to like it. We're going to do some shout outs to some folks. We're going to look at the Anubis, we're going to talk some smack. I got some smack I want to talk about one of these reviews. Okay, sounds good. Uh, yeah. It was a it was a study actually. It wasn't even a review. It was a study by a scientist. Okay, that was quoted wrong. Okay, excellent. so excellent. so excellent. that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, I guess we'll we'll just dive off into the Anubis and then uh, come back and talk about it and and run some smack. Yeah, sound good. Let's go for it. All right, let's All right. do that. Let's okay, roll. we're on it. All right, and here we are back with the Anubis. So I unboxed it, and I'll show you the box when we get back up to to normal view. I just want to get you a look at this up close. We have the standard 510 tube. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> look at me. The standard 18650 tube. This model only comes in one mode. It does not have extra tubes. It has your uh, fire pin down at the bottom, your 510 connector up at the top. It does come with its own atomizer. It's a three post atomizer with a Cyclops style uh, air hole in it. Yeah, it's a hybrid. And it is, well, technically it is a hybrid because it does come all in one piece. However, uh, Tesla. Uh, had the good uh, uh, common sense to make it to where you could screw the atomizer off and use one of your own atomizers. Exactly. So I don't know that I would call it a, hy a hybrid as much as I would an all-in-one, like an well, all-inclusive. Tesla, Tesla label, calls it a hybrid. La labels yeah. it as a hybrid. you got an all-in-one, but you can upgrade it and change it however yeah, you want. Yeah, I would call nice. it an all-inclusive. I think this is a, another great introductory mod by Tesla. Um, bless their hearts, these guys really put a lot of work into their stuff. Now, it, it has its own drip tip, so you could literally go in, pick this thing up, drop a battery in it, build a coil on the top, and go with it. Let me take this out of here real quick, and we'll strip this apart. There is the top cap. Here is the sidewall, and there is the actual atomizer itself, and it is a three-post atomizer. Oh, that's a sexy. How, how deep is that well? That well is probably close to about six millimeters. It's a, it's a nice deep well on that. I'm, I'm really... I'm really liking the, the depth of that well. And the deck is easy to build on too. So we have a, a good deep uh, a well. We have a really easy deck to build on. Uh, holds a lot of juice so you can literally fill that juice up and get that cotton going real well. Uh, and then of course once we get back up to the uh, up top version we'll, we'll get a look at it. Construction wise, it's a very good piece of equipment. Uh, much like the rest of the stuff Tesla puts out, it is a little light. Um, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it, which I like because you stick your 18650 in it and you can tote it around all day and it's not going to, you know, drag your pocket down. You know? Yeah, that is true. So, I mean, you know, going back to that, to that drip well, uh, using it, testing it out, I've gotten close to almost half a, half a ball of cotton in there. That's a, that's and, a lot of cotton. That's a lot that's of cotton. cotton. But that's you like a, packing your cotton too. So, yeah. So, okay, well, that's the up-close version. Um, we'll, we'll go back up. Oh, let me show you. The, it does have the, the normal uh, two-pin for taking up battery rattle on the bottom. Uh, these all are copper contacts, uh, which I like because the, the voltage drop on this thing is real low. Yes, um, it is. And I enjoy that a lot, too. So, so we'll, we'll go back up to normal view now, and then we'll, we'll talk about it, and we'll wave it around, and we'll show off the box, and uh, then we'll talk some smack, because well, i got some good smack to talk today. Hey, sounds good. Brilliant. All right. Well, we'll see you back up in the up top. Okay. And we're, and we're back. <laughs> so, um, now that we're back up here in normal yeah. view, let's, let's screw this together. Actually, let me show them the box first. We, so, I didn't show you the box when we were down there. This is the actual box that it comes in. Uh, it's got that little snappy front in it, and then on the inside, it's got the Anubis as well. So that's just a little bag of debris. Um, I'll tell you one of the things I forgot to say while I was while I was looking at the up close version, uh, and it's something that I like about this. Um, the uh, let me screw that in there just so you can see the whole sexy piece of equipment there, like that. So the fire button uh, actually has it's, it's a recess fire. Yeah, button. yeah. and it, and it's got the so when you when you get ready to lock, it's got the reverse threading on it. Yeah. So the lock locks it out at a reverse thread. Uh, and we've it's coated nice. these around. These these uh, I mean, we've used these for now what better half of like a month and some change. Uh, really good, yeah. really good, sturdy piece of equipment. Three weeks to a month. Yeah. Um, so I've thrown mine around a little bit. Yeah, I, I threw mine around a little bit. <laughs> too. 
It's got, some, <laughs> it's got some battle damage. It happens. I like the Cyclops style um, atomizer. It's got a little Stellar style atomizer with the with the little Cyclops. You know, you grab the it's got good the, airflow. The top, uh, the top of the uh, the actual atomizer. You know, good uh, airflow. Uh, it's got good vapor production. The the yeah. flavor. It's got pretty decent flavor too. You know, we could vape it. Yeah, we could. You know, if you want to like like build a coil real quick, we could we could yeah. vape it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could. Um, do, do you think we should do that? I don't. I don't know. I, does it necessary? I mean, I mean, everybody knows what what a mod looks like when you're vaping on it. Yeah, you know I mean, you can watch us vape on it's, it all day long, but you're not going to know what yeah. it tastes like. Yeah, it, it, it's got good good vapor production, <sighs> good good flavor, good airflow. I like. Um, it. There's not a whole lot of uh, drawbacks to it. Uh, I will say on the the brass mod because uh, it comes in a uh, copper, copper, brass, and uh, a painted black with with I don't, I don't what, what, like the with, with the with the uh, engraving gold. It looks good. My only concern is it's painted. So how durable is the paint going to be? I don't know. Um, the brass mod has a clear coat finish on it. Uh, I personally didn't like the clear coat, so I just took some steel wool and brushed it off. And it, if I had it with me, I wish I brought it. Uh, okay, well that's your it, bad. Yeah, it, yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> that's uh, his bad. It, it looks good. It kind of gives it a, an aged patina to it. It looks really nice. I like it because it smells like pennies. Well, it's just because you're weird. I, but you know that's that's my thing. I yeah, like I that. This one. Yeah. Smell that one. Yeah, I know. It smells like pennies. It smells like pennies. It smells like blood. Copper. It's good yeah. stuff. Yeah, good it's copper. Stuff. Good stuff. I like copper mods. I I just like the way they. Yeah. I like the way they smell. I know I smelled it. Don't don't be judgmental. <laughs> don't be judgmental. I like the way they smell. Be judgmental. We are. <laughs> don't be judgmental. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, goofy. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really good piece of equipment. Uh, uh, if you get your hands on one, uh, you're not going to be disappointed. It's I mean I really have nothing negative to say about it. You know, price-wise, we should talk about vaping pennies. So your vaping pennies, you don't have to save a lot of them for yeah, this. Yeah, you don't have to save a lot. It's the Anubis, to, uh, depending on where you go, this thing runs anywhere from sixty-five to what eighty bucks. Sixty-five to eighty, depending on where uh, you get it. I mean, maybe a little bit less, you know. But if you pay more than eighty dollars for this, you need to go punch somebody in their eye. Yeah. Because no, they, they no. raped you. That's no good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on, guys. Because this you is know, a this that, is a good. That's not what it's about. Yeah. It, it's not about bending your customers over. This is and a good it's, introductory mod. It's well, it's more than an introductory mod to be honest with you. Uh, it's got pretty much everything that you need, and it will last you a while because it, it's expandable. It's adaptable. It, but see, that's the thing, and that's why I think it's a good. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh oh. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> Damn, that's funny. Told you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, the reason I say it's I don't a like good watching a puppy sneeze. It's <laughs> all right now. The reason I say it's a good introductory mod is because the uh, the fact that you it's all in one. You can just walk in and, and pick it up and put a battery in it, and bam, you're you're set. You don't have to purchase an atomizer or any kind of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you just literally go in, stick a battery in, it and walk away. You know, yeah, it's good um, stuff. And I like the fact that it's like that. And I understand expandable because you can actually, you know, change out your atomizer. You know, you're not stuck with, you know, a traditional hybrid where yeah, you've got the atomizer stuck. that's just stuck on it. Like yeah. the like that, um, the Dreadnought? Yeah, the Dreadnought. Yeah. Most hybrids, that's one thing I like about it, being a quote-unquote hybrid, um, is it's not a true hybrid. It's an all-in-one most hybrids you're stuck with the atomizer you can't change it out so you've got this piece of equipment that's all you've got so if you want to put a different atomizer on it you're stuck you got to go buy a complete different setup that's, that's what one, i like about this you don't have to buy a complete different setup if, yeah this one this one i honestly this is a good one dude I'm, yeah, it's i good. like it i like it's it a like lot. The, it's like the uh the, the the other stuff that tesla puts out yeah i'm, I'm really digging tesla yeah tesla I'm makes some pretty good products so, so that's our take on the Anubis. Uh, we hope it's helpful, and uh, you know you can leave us some comments down in the bottom. You know, just uh, shoot us something down yeah. there, and if you know if there's something you wanted to see that we didn't cover, you know, hey, we're all well. We'll revisit any piece of equipment we've got. Uh, you can just send us a little message. You know, hey, we really wanted to see, and then tell us what that thing was, and yeah. we'll go back and revisit it. You know, yeah. I'm, if I'm not any opposed to information you want to know. Let us know. Give us a shout. 
shoot us an email, put some comments down there, and uh, we'll see what we can find out for you. So that's our take on the Anubis. Hope it helped. Uh, and that brings us to, uh, oh, that's uh, for you guys that don't know, so vlog day. It's smack talk. It's smack talking time. <laughs> so if you just came for the review, that part's over with. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. You know, leave us a comment. Now we're going to talk some smack. So the first thing we need to do is give some shout outs. So we have some new subscribers. Excellent. So, Excellent. so hey, Dave, David, dude, <laughs> thanks for subscribing, bro. I got yeah. hooked up. They, they, Dave actually watched all of them. Well, oh, he was the one that said, "Hey, where's, you, your, where's the next yeah. one?" Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, yeah. Dave, we're running late. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're not gonna be two weeks exactly. We're two ish. week ish. We're ish. Yeah, ish. we're ish. Yeah, two week ish. <laughs> two, maybe three, somewhere around there. Yeah, uh, but it's, yeah, it's because life, life happens. We just yeah, ish, two yeah. week ish. ish. We're, we're, so, we're ish people. So yeah. for for the guys that just subscribed, hey, thanks for subscribing. Hope you uh, hope you get the information you're looking for. You know, if you want to talk about anything, you just leave us a comment, and uh, we appreciate it. You know, because that's what this is all about. So spread the information, share these. Yeah. So Hawk's topic of smack talk today. Oh, I, it, oh, it, 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 it's good. Oh, uh, for those, of, there's been a lot oh, going on. If you don't pay attention to the headlines, or or if you're not hooked up with Casa, get hooked up with Casa. They're our biggest advocates right now. Um, there's been a couple of things going on. Uh, some some representatives that kind of seem to be on our side. I'm going to talk about that here in a second. But Hawk's big one. He's just been chomping at the bit for this one. Um, some something about a, a scientist doing some kind of study, yes. or, and, and he yes. got misquoted or or something like that. He's got all the information it's, on. Okay, that. Okay, so here's what wound up happening. Okay, the the Japanese uh, government requested a study and their version of the health department did it okay, okay. they're, they're okay. national health I'm guys good. Good, good. um and i don't remember the 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 actual researcher's name you can you can go to casa and and look it up or you can just google it fgi okay you can just google it and um uh if you google it just google uh e-cigarettes have 10 times the carcinogens of a normal cigarette and Ooh. it'll come up yeah excellent it'll come up awesome so here's what wound up happening the uh, the government requested this research to be done. Uh, it was in Japan, and their guy did the research and he turned in his paper. Okay, mm -hmm. well he was doing an interview with some news reporters. And yeah. I don't I don't remember the news the news uh, um, outlet the media outlet that, that reported it. Uh -huh. But if you Google it, it'll come up. Okay, uh, and uh, so what they said was is that this gentleman found ten times the amount of carcinogens with an S. In an e-cigarette, in the in the actual juice, uh, once it's vaporized, as a normal cigarette. Awesome. And and the guys over Casa. That's not awesome. Uh, the guys over Casa were real, you know. Oh shit! And so they contacted the researcher, and it turns out that the researcher didn't say that. What the researcher said uh, was that he found important ten times the level of formaldehyde in one sample compared to a normal cigarette. And he couldn't reproduce it. He doesn't. It was an anomaly. He didn't know why it was like that. And that wasn't the report that he turned in. So carcinogens with an S versus one sample, one carcinogen. Now it, it's it's all. I understand. You know, it's hey, it it's still a, a negative thing. But the fact of the matter is, is the news media yet again down and on e-cigarettes, trying to drive this industry out, reported this flat lie because it wasn't it wasn't don't 10 times say. yeah yeah i know right don't say it's not like that the media lie no. media never no. lies yeah. how is that yeah. possible media, no. media no. never lies no so again like everything else do your homework because i i got like i don't know how many messages people anytime somebody finds out negative things about e-cigarettes they always send me the link like i get like blown up with like oh did you <laughs> read this then look at that here's the research you know because i got some guys that are haters that have my number <laughs> and so they're always real quick to send me something that's negative and they hate it when I send them back the actual truth yeah. they're like well, where did you find that I'm like on the research paper go read it yeah <laughs> you know yeah do a little homework so it's so a little bit of homework goes a long way point, <laughs> is, point is freaks <laughs> <laughs> yeah come to your own conclusion don't go off of what somebody else says do your own research educate yourself plain and simple that way 
you, yeah, you, you know, know. That way you know what's going on. And, and everything we give thing. to you, we believe to be the truth. And and you know what? And and this is what we tell people. First yeah, off, we it's believe, our opinion. We believe it to be the truth. It's our opinion. It has no bearing in reality whatsoever. It's well, just it's, an opinion. Yeah. No, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. it's just an opinion because everything in vaping is subjective anyways. Yeah. We know... It is all about your vape. ...that vaping has less junk in it. Oh, yeah. And so oh, yeah. I consider it to be a uh, harm reduction method. I don't know that it's not harmful, but I consider it to be less harmful than a cigarette. Oh, I definitely agree. Yeah. And that's just my personal take on it. That has no bearing in reality other than my own. Yeah. You know? I, I definitely agree. I mean, so, you know... Uh, some studies are saying that e-cigarettes or, or the, the juice vaporizers are 99% less harmful than a cigarette. Than cigarettes. So yeah, it varies, but you know, it's do the research. point is it, it's it's harm reduction. It's yeah. not without risk. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Vapor is your own risk because you know you don't know. You 20 are. years from now, they can say, "Hey, this makes you grow a third arm," and you could have a third arm. You're like, "Oh shit, I got yeah. a third arm." Yeah. Okay. Of course, you can get a third arm from city tap water, too. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> How's I mean, that? There you, know, you go. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so, so that's my smack talk. That's what I wanted to actually talk smack okay. about. because yeah, that, you know, I mean, I'll talk smack about anybody, but, you know, that yeah. in particular yeah. is what I wanted to talk smack about. That's hobbies is talking smack. Well, you know, I mean, come on. It's seriously. Fun. You know, I hate the news anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I hate yeah. the news anyways. I don't even watch the news as much as possible. Yeah. Like, if I want to know what's going on in America... BBC. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, BBC. BBC is pretty much down the middle. Yeah, if you want the, if you want the far right, go to Fox. If you want the far left, go to CNN, HLN. If you want somewhere in the middle, BBC. BBC. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I got. Yeah, I got nothing else. Well, that's what I got. Well, actually, uh, some pretty, pretty. This is I, I'm really excited about this one. What do you got? Um, some of our representatives, uh, Banner Bonner, however you pronounce his name. And a couple others uh, sent a letter to uh, the, the the health services secretary. Really? Yeah. And uh, they're urging the changing of pending regulations on the grandfather date from 2007 to, I want to say, mid-April, end of April 2015. Really? Which would be, uh, well, I've got the email that's, right here. That's pretty uh, good. I've got the email. Yeah. April 25th, 2015 is what in, is what they're proposing. Uh, that's actually that's well, that's really good for us. Um, that because if we go back to grandfather was two thousand nine. I think we're nine. That's gonna kill like ninety five percent of the products that are available. Yeah, uh, that's I mean, gonna be wiping out some big business. Uh, uh, well, it's not that. Yeah, it's gonna wipe out business, but it's gonna wipe out consumer choice. Yeah. And Which that, is a huge that, thing. That, that that's my big thing. That's like saying, okay, well, all of a sudden, all the models of cars that we have on the road, that the grandfather, you, you can't get them anymore. So now everybody's stuck with cars that were made in 1999, and that's all you have to choose from. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, no, that's come on. no, no, it's not. So that, that's good. Well, good. So <laughs> yeah. so you guys that are that are watching the videos and stuff, and and you're writing your congressman and stuff, write those guys and tell them they're doing a good job. Who is it, Boehner and who? Um, do, well, do we know Boehner and somebody else? Well, let me pull up the email. Is it somebody um, we can actually look at? Or well, let's see. Uh, it was just before Thanksgiving. Uh, Rep Representative John Boehner, uh, House Speaker, uh, Kevin McCarthy, House Majority Leader. And Representative Fred Upton, Chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, co-signed a letter to the Secretary of Department of Health and Human Services, Sylvia Burwell. They asked the FDA to consider changing the February 15, 2007, correction, 2007, not 2009, 2007 grandfather date for newly deemed tobacco products. Which is what the FDA is pushing for. They're pushing for this right here. It's not tobacco. It's a battery in a tube. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how yeah. they get tobacco out of that. I don't know. I, it, they're going off of from nicotine. But what about the juice that doesn't have Exactly. Nicotine? I was so, about to say, what about all so, the guys that are vaping zero? Like me? Yeah. Dude, I am one drop away from zero. I, seriously, I'm at 1.5 I'm now. not far behind you. I was at, I'm at, 1 .5. I, I was at 24, sometimes 36. I was even known to drip 24. Oh. Crazy. Uh, and oh, now I'm down to uh, between four and six. Uh, it's you know I'm just going to keep vaping when I get to zero. Yeah. I am. 
I'm not quitting. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna keep vaping when I get to zero, because I got friends that vape at zero. Yeah, and they so do right. it to have the habit. Yeah. without the nicotine, it's oh. just VG and flavor at that point. Yeah, because yeah. I'm. I, yeah. I want to blow big clouds. <laughs> but, uh, I do cloud chaser. I, it's good. Yeah. So they they are suggesting that the uh, grandfather date be April twenty fifth, two thousand fourteen. That still has a there's a lot of consumer choice. Yes, yeah. still available before you have to pay the sixty four thousand dollars to fill out a stupid form to say, will you consider letting me build this? No, or, or you, sell it. Will sell you it. consider looking at this so you can tell me if I can pay more money to, to get to registered? Actually sell it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's crazy. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. So if you are not connected with Casa, please do. Um, well, you know, we're not pushing Casa. We're not pushing Casa. We're not. Com- well, we're saying do it. Do you do what you can do to help the cause? Okay, yeah. if joining Casa is cause. something you can do, then do that. And if it's one of the other groups, join one of the other groups. There yeah, there's a couple other there. groups out there. Their so, names escape me right now. The big you know, one is Casa. Yeah, but uh, that that's, do your part. That, you know? That's my that's my big one. It's not so much smack talk as it is. It's more of a an attaboy. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to know that some people are actually bringing in uh, some common sense. I'm not going to say good judgment or good judgment. Good not, judgment. Yeah, yeah. Because common yeah. sense, Com- common sense is not. Well, common sense implies everybody's had the same life experience it, that everybody else. Exactly. And that's not the case. And that's not Let's the case. use some good judgment. Good judgment. Here. And, and I think this is a step in the right direction. I really do. I think you're right. I, I do. I, really I think do. you're right. So that's what we've got. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Uh, No, not really. No? Yeah. We're just vaping again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got it. nothing. Yeah. If you've seen the first couple of videos, you know we're just going to do this. We're just going to sit here and vape because <laughs> that's what we do. That's, you know, we got yeah. nothing else. Yeah. So, you know, when are uh, when are your jerkers going to come and beat my zombie bot so you can get your piece you of know, equipment back? You I'm, know, I'm actually, I'm thinking that's, okay, I don't have the latest update. I, I hate that they have a new book out. And they <laughs> have, I have to get two new books because you know they have one for the uh, Dark Eldar and one for the damn uh, Chaos Guys. Oh, I didn't tell you. <laughs> Did you pick up the new book? No. Oh. Nids. Nids, you suck. I, you dude, and your damn swarm armies. Dude, bugs. I like freaking swarm. Armies. I like bugs. You know what? Play a real army. I, swarm is not a tactic. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's an effective tactic. <laughs> swarm is not a tactic. Okay, like Zerkers, go forward. That's all you can do. That's not a tactic. That's either. a good tactic. <laughs> Run forward. Swarm. Good whatever. tactic. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. 40k for those of you that don't know. Yeah. All right, guys. This is Hawk. <laughs> this is Tori. Coming at you from HT. Peace on you. Remember, vaping is going to kill big tobacco. I promise you, just watch and see. You can stick that in your tank and vape it. Yeah, you can. You can yeah. stick that in your tank and vape it. <laughs> Peace on, y'all.